So Kellogg's is releasing a Super Mario branded cereal. Now technically, you've probably seen some reports on this over the past 24 hours. A lot of it saying that it is a rumor. But today, Kellogg's Twitter account confirmed it. There were people asking them about it, about the cereal box. And they say, we confirm this product is being released in the U.S., but not currently in the U.K. We will pass your feedback on Thanks. So, uh, it, it's, it's also funny because this was answered by Kellogg's UK. So, Kellogg's US hasn't even announced it yet, but we also have some additional stories, you know, such as the Super Mario cereal has started to appear in Target's computer system, essentially confirming Target is going to be one of the main providers of this cereal. We don't know how long this cereal is going to be on the market. But what we do know is that it exists, it is real, it is a thing, it is now official. So what is this Super Mario cereal? Well, it's essentially Lucky Charms. Uh, with the marshmallows being themed after, it looks like Question Blocks, 1-Ups, uh, uh, the Odyssey hat maybe? I'm trying to, I don't really understand what the red one is per se. Uh, power ups, I guess. I don't know. They, they say it's fe featuring power up uh, marshmallows. And what's interesting is that the amiibo functionality is included with the box itself. That means there's an actual little microchip in the box. Now, we also have what is supposedly, reportedly, not confirmed yet to be an image of the back of the box. And that is where someone who's got their hands on one of these boxes, apparently. Uh, I don't know if they got an early release of it at a Target or whatever. Uh, they have scanned the Amiibo, because it says try it with Super Mario Odyssey. They scanned it with Super Mario Odyssey, and, well, it just registers as a random Amiibo, and it sends off a character to uh, help you find a moon in the game like any other Amiibo does. Uh, there is a special message uh with it that that indicates you know that you obviously use the cereal box instead of uh any other amiibo but there's no you know extra functionality or even you know in this case uh i think what would have been cool is if you scanned the amiibo in uh you would have got a bowl of super mario cereal in luncheon kingdom i think that would have been a really cool tie in uh that's completely irrelevant but just like a cosmetic thing or even a sticker of it or something but whatever that didn't happen uh, but it's just really cool. It's also showing Nintendo continuing the trend of expanding their IP beyond their systems. So, for starters, this, this box is clearly advertising um, Super Mario Odyssey. Obviously, it says try you know as Amiibo, try it with Super Mario Odyssey right on the box, and it has the Odyssey itself plus the map in the background and Cappy on Mario's head. But they're not calling this Super Mario Odyssey cereal. They're just saying Super Mario cereal, maybe to broaden the appeal of it. And this isn't the first time Nintendo's had cereals. I believe it was either the, the late '80s or early '90s when they when they had some cereal brands out there, uh, but those kind of went away. Just like Nintendo's cartoon series and all that stuff went away as well. But Nintendo's expanding into the theme parks. They're expanding uh, into movies and uh, TV shows. Uh, so reportedly, we don't know what TV shows yet. We do know uh, that they are in talks about a Super Mario movie. Uh, so, yeah, Nintendo is kind of sort of hitting their stride, as they say. Obviously, the Switch is massively successful. This partnership with Universal Studios is turning into a movie and the theme parks with the rides. Now we have cereal. This is obviously the first uh, cereal in a long time for Nintendo. Uh, we could see this expand in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if they release a Zelda cereal at some point or a Pokemon one or an Animal Crossing cereal or whatever the case may be, taking full advantage of the popularity of their IPs right now. And that's the thing. There's this cereal is coming to market rather fast, so they must have been having this conversation before Super Mario Odyssey released. And according to uh, some interesting stats out there, Super Mario Odyssey, according to Amazon in the United States, is the number one selling video game on their website for the entire year, uh, which is crazy when you consider the games it's up against. You know, all the other super popular multi-platform games out there, Super Mario Odyssey topped them all. Just in the U.S., just at one retailer. Granted, it's the biggest online retailer in the world, but it still uh, ne doesn't necessarily mean that Super Mario Odyssey was the best-selling game in the U.S. Uh, just at that single retailer. But still, 
exciting 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 stuff here uh i definitely am going to be picking up some boxes of this um i don't know when it's officially coming out since it hasn't been officially announced in the u.s even though uh kellogg's uk has now confirmed its existence i am hoping to see it uh, at least arrive on target shelves soon i will be picking up a couple boxes of it uh one box will be never opened um just a collector's item because based on Nintendo's previous history with cereal, uh, they don't keep it around forever. Uh, and as this cereal heavily advertises Odyssey, you know, it might just be around for the next few months. It could be a year. I don't know. But I, I'd like to just keep a box in my collection. Um, I'll probably this, buy more than two boxes, but uh, for sure two because obviously I need to try it. And maybe I'll try it through live stream. Um, I'm assuming it tastes quite literally like lucky charms um but uh i'll still try a bowl of it and see if i am jumping up like a superstar and feeling the odyssey um and maybe while you know while i'm eating it i'll scan the amiibo in on odyssey just so you guys can see uh it get that confirmed functionality once i get a box in my hands might make for a little fun live stream a little let's eat some mario cereal uh, or maybe I'll make just a, a video out of it with, with better editing, quote-unquote, um, so you guys can see my uh, reaction forever <laughs> to the Super Mario cereal. Uh, but yeah, and don't be surprised if in future videos that where I'm on camera, you see me holding a box or having a box of Super Mario cereal in the background because it's obviously going to become some decor in my setup, especially for things like Prime Comments where you see a lot more of my, my quote-unquote stuff. Um, just really interesting that this is happening. Uh, I, I've been waiting and sitting on this report because I just couldn't believe it. Uh, Nintendo getting back into the serial game is what Nintendo was doing when they were at their height of their power back during the NES and Game Boy days. And I know what you're going to say. Well, the height of their power was the Wii and DS era. You are correct. But Nintendo was very insular then. Uh, they had not been already expanding out, and now they are expanding out, and this just made a lot of sense to me. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the Super Mario series is going to sell very, very well for them. I don't, I, I can't imagine why it won't. Kids that are playing Switches now and playing Odyssey are going to want it. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about this. I'm hoping this leads to future serials. I'm hoping we're going to start seeing more action figures. I would like to see Nintendo start stepping up their toy game. Uh, they have had some partnerships with like Kinex and, and some other companies in the past with their toys. Uh, so I'm hoping they step that up. Obviously, my dream it's going to make me go bankrupt, but my dream uh, connection is for Nintendo to uh, get a partnership with Lego. I don't think that's going to happen just because uh, Lego has currently existing partnerships with Disney. Uh, and on top of that, you know, that, that, I thought that could stop Nintendo. Nintendo has partners with these other companies that are similar to Lego. Uh, they're just not as popular, and it's harder to find that stuff out in the wild. But uh, who knows? Maybe Nintendo will get it pushed. You know, you start seeing some more uh, Lego-like sets for Nintendo stuff. I don't know. That's just a dream of mine. I've always kind of wanted my own little, uh, build my own little Nintendo world in my office or something. <laughs> Anyways, folks, uh, you guys let me know what you think about this Super Mario series. Are you going to be picking up this box of basically Mario Lucky Charms? Um, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, some sugary goodness coming our way, themed after Mario. Good move, bad move, you guys let me know. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I will catch you in the next one. Ah.